If you're looking for a cook set for a bug out location or a large camp or a group of people, this might be the cook set you're looking for. This is the Ozark Trail 22 piece camp, cook and dine set. Alright folks, welcome back. Now I had a request for from uh, one of the people watching my other videos, one of my subscribers, um, Denise Jacoby I think her name was. She was looking for a cook set for a family of four. Now, parts of this could probably be broken down and be portable. This is a big cook set, but it would definitely work for a family of four. We're going to give you a rundown of what's inside of it. This is from Ozark Trails. These run in the, I think they're $24, $25 range. This one isn't even on their website. Um, it's kind of interesting. There's a little bit of a difference. There's a 22-piece camp cook and eat set instead of and dine set. The eat set is aluminum. These are stainless steel, like it says here, compact stainless steel. So for 20, let's say 26, 27 bucks at the most, I forget the price offhand, I will put it down below. <laughs> you can pick one of these up. These are in your local Walmarts. I don't believe they're even online on a Walmart website yet. So we're gonna tear inside of it and I'm gonna show you what's in there. All right, so the first little bit of news that I got for you here is I threw out the mesh carry bag. My fault. <laughs> I unpacked this the other day to take a look at it. And of course, it was garbage day, and the garbage is gone, and I, I threw it out. So that was my mistake, um, but it, it was in there. I, I, it was covered in stuff. I didn't want to take it out and wash it. I can always buy another sack for it. No big deal. But this is what it comes with. We're going to read it off the box. you got an 8.4-inch fry pan, 5.6-quart stock pot, 2.5-quart stock pot, two lids, four 9-inch plates, four sporks, four 12-ounce cups with lids, four cup lids, and one mesh carrying bag, which, yep, I lost. <laughs> anyway, let's dig into here and take a look. I always like to open these things up to make sure they're not damaged before I actually do the video and show you, and it's like, ah, they're all dented and destroyed. So, I like to make sure it's in one piece. It's one thing if there's damage or a defect from the manufacturer, that I'll show you, but... So here you go. Now that's a big pot. You can tell by my hand. That's, you know, one of the things I like about this pot is it's kind of unique with the handles. You have two sets of handles there. So you can pull this off a of fire. And for our uses today, we're going to cook as I would use this kit, say at a bug out location or maybe a camp or an area where I'm going to be for a while. Or even outdoor camping, you know, if you're going with a group of people, we're going to use it on a, on a uh, two burner Coleman stove. We will be testing it at a later date over a fire, but for now, we're going to try it on the Coleman burner stove. So let's take a look inside. You got a really nice lid. I mean, this stuff is heavy duty. I don't know the gauge of it, it doesn't say, but you got a nice strainer on it. And I am going to cook a little bit of spaghetti in here, even though it doesn't go with what we're making. You got this little pot here. This is your 5.6 quart stock pot. I'm sorry, 2.5 quart stock pot. The big one is the 5.6. There you go, again, nice stuff. Doesn't look as thin as the uh, pan from the other previous cook set I did. You've got four cups and four lids. These are kind of the sippy lids. And four nice cups. Guess we'll have to start a new club. No more green cup club, the uh, blue cup club. <laughs> yeah, that's a tongue twister. You got four sporks. These are very light plastic. Again, wash these by hands. Don't get them by fire. They will melt. But for everyday use, there's nothing wrong with them. Okay, so there's the small pot. I'm going to fold these down so we can get everything in one shot. Here is the big pot. Here is the pan. This is the frying pan. And, I've got to dump these out. These are the plates. So if you're looking for a complete kit, even uh, if you have a bug out location or a cabin somewhere and you want to store some cooking utensils there, this is definitely the kit for you. If you're looking for a lightweight backpack kit, uh, no, <laughs> definitely not the kit for you. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to cook on a, on a two burner stove. I'm going to bring the Coleman uh, out and we'll, uh, we'll try it out outside. And uh, I'm going to use it like I'd use it, say, at a location, at a campsite, whatever. Uh, because this is way too big to be a backpack set. And also, too, way too big to use on a tiny little uh, isobutane stove. 
So let's get that all set up and take you outside and uh, show you how it cooks. All right, well, I don't know if you can hear it inside here, but down the street, they're pouring concrete for a, a new foundation they're building of a house. And it's way too noisy outside, so I figured, well, we'll just set it up inside. I mean, anyway, in a base camp, you're going to be using it indoors anyway. Uh, I do have my side door open, so we have adequate ventilation. Again, don't use these in confined spaces. I was heating up the water out there, but it just got too noisy, so I had to bring it in. Um, looks like it's holding up pretty well. This is definitely sturdy. I have this about halfway full, and I carried this in from outside where I was set up, and it held up fine. So... I'll bring you back once we got some uh, boiling going on there for the spaghetti. Even though it doesn't really go with what I'm making for the main entree, I wanted to use this pan, so we're going to make some spaghetti and pesto in there. So, bring you back when it's boiling. All right, so it looks like it's starting to boil. Yep, that's good. Now, I did break the pasta in half, although you probably didn't have to for this. Uh, you probably could have just put it in there straight away. I just want to get it all under water. So for time constraints, I broke it in half to make it a little bit shorter. The only thing I think this set could have included, that they do include with other kits, is some utensils to cook with. But for now, I'm just going to use my UCO titanium spork, and we'll see how that works out. So the pasta is in. Let's see how it does. Then I'll strain it out with the strainer on the uh, on the lid over here. I'll let you know how that works too. All right. So we got it boiled. It's nice and soft. I am going to try this live because I'm kind of a little concerned that it may not work. What I'm worried about is these handles slipping like this as I'm doing it. So we're going to try it out and see how the strainer works. Get something to cover the lid to push down on it. Let's see. That's sliding away on me, but it is working. There we go. So you can see the strainer will work very, very well. I'm going to strain the rest of this in the kitchen so I don't make a mess out of my camp stove if anything spills. But as you can tell, it works very, very well. Just give me a second to get back. I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. And we'll move on to the next part of the uh, All right, meal. so the pot held up great. I just took the rest. It wasn't much. I took the rest and poured it over my sink just to make sure I wasn't going to spill all over this thing. And for those of you that missed it, this is a stove that I bought for, gosh, I forget, was it 5 or $7? at the Goodwill, and I completely restored it, repainted it, fixed the burners and everything. So this is probably what you'd be cooking on with a kit like this. So, let's dump in the pesto sauce, and that meal, or that part of the meal, is completely ready, and I gotta say, the pan held up, the pot held up very, very well. This is almost big enough where I'd consider using this in my kitchen for everyday use. It's nice and thick too. It's a very thick, um, a thick stainless steel. So definitely not anything cheap, but also not anything light. So you definitely wouldn't be lugging this around in your backpack or say a bug out bag or something like that. You might put this in some kind of kit for an I'm never coming home type kit. If you ever had to evacuate your house permanently, but the chances of that are not as likely as needing it for a cooking, a camping trip. So, there we go. There's our pesto noodles. That looks really good. That's probably going to be lunch for me later with some chicken or something in it. But I want to move that off and move on to the next part of the yeah, meal. And as you can tell, I'm sure glad I moved in. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but my goodness, that's loud. <laughs> Those construction crews uh, down the street there with the cement mixer were rather loud. So we're filming indoors, but it's cool. Anyway, let's move on to the next part. What I'm going to make next is, I have never tried this. I stock it, but I've never tried it. Chunk chicken in buffalo style sauce. You can see what it looks like in there. And some basmati rice. Now, this rice can be done in a microwave, but you can also use two tablespoons of water and cook it. So what I'm going to do, since this is the thinner pan, we're going to cook the meat in there and see if there's any warping or burning. And we're just going to heat up the rice in this one. So we're going to put the rice in here real quick throw in a little bit of water they say two tablespoons I'm just gonna eyeball it let's see just enough to kind of keep it from scorching 
over in this one on the end here. This is why it pays to save these little things. This is butter from KFC. And this is why it pays to save your little to-go things. Because while you're out camping or in your bug-out bag or anything like that, kind of handy. I'm putting a little butter down there just to make sure I don't purposely scorch the bottom. And we're going to turn on the burners. There's that one. That one, I'm going to keep this one extra low. Because really, this, this I wouldn't even cook until this was done. All right. There we go. I'm going to dump this in. And I'm going to bring you back when it's done. I'm going to see how the pot held up and how that uh, worked out. So everything's going along here. And I realize I'm just warming food. This isn't actually cooking anything. But it seems to be working very well. And uh, I think the rice is pretty much finished. Let's see. Yep. That's hot. This, by the way, I had a little piece of it. This is that chicken and the buffalo sauce. Comes in the cans from Walmart. I think they're uh, a buck something. Or two fifty. I forget exactly the price. Um, but they're <laughs> really, really good. Very spicy, too. So let me get everything on a plate for you. And uh, give you my final thoughts on this. I'm going to clean up the... Um, the pots and pans and see how easily they clean up. Granted, we didn't do anything really hard and difficult and, you know, where we're scorching the heck out of stuff. But uh, it does seem to uh, work very nicely. The pan here is nice. I like that. That's a nice, stable, sturdy kind of holder. You know, it's not flopping up and down. There's a little play, as you can hear, but it's not bad. And these things are awesome. They don't get hot, and they're really, really firm grip. Even when I was straining, it never flipped on me. I was afraid it was going to go like this and flip in. Never did that when I was straining with the bigger pot. So let me get everything on a plate for you, show what it looks like together. Kind of a weird combination, but what the heck, you know? And uh, <clears throat> clean up pans and see how they came out. So before I go and wash everything, I figured I'd show you what the plates are like. And as you can tell, that's a pretty full plate. Um, and that's not going anywhere. It's a nice, thick, plastic plate. These are BPA-free, and they are perfectly safe for a dishwasher. So you can put these in the dishwasher. However, you can't put the sporks in the dishwasher. And we're going to try that out real quick too. Let's see how. Now, amazingly enough, that's very good. Um, the pesto is an odd combination, I will admit. Let's see if it'll work with, with noodles. Uh, it kind of does. But if you're hungry in a pinch with your emergency food, believe me, I got a feeling you'd chow all that down. Let me clean up the pots and get everything uh, wiped off. And we'll see uh, how they held up. So far, they look like they held up pretty darn good. So, as you can see, everything cleaned up really nicely. Again, um, I used soap and water in my sink. You could just as easily put some water in here, boil it out, wipe it out, and it would be just as good. I'm going to be putting this away for a while, so I want to make sure I got everything clean in it. But as you can tell, no damage. No scorching. Nothing weird, you know, it's not like doing the little thing that metal does when it gets too hot. That's all cleaned up nicely. Here you go on this one. Nice and clean. Yeah. So, I mean, for the kit itself, it's an awesome kit. Really uh, compact for such a large package. And definitely good for a family of four for camping or for an emergency kit where you're packing it up with the intent of having to leave your house for a very long time or possibly never even coming back home again. That's probably what I'm going to do with this, is put it in one of my uh, I'm never coming home tubs, and it will serve really effectively in there. Um, but I want to have it accessible too, so if I go camping with friends, I can just grab it and use it easily. So it all goes back together rather simply. These go in here. This folds up. This folds down. These go in here. And that lid goes on. You can put it right side up because there's more than enough room. And this lid goes here. And there you go. So that is the Ozark Trail 22-piece camp cook and dine set. Remember, this is the cook and dine set, not the cook and eat set. The cook and eat set's aluminum. This one's stainless steel. And I will show you on the box, excuse me, right there, 
lightweight, compact stainless steel. So this is stainless steel. It did clean up very, very simply. Uh, really didn't need to use soap and, uh, and a scrub brush and water. I could have just done that with boiling it out, like I said. So it's a fairly cheap kit. I mean, it's, I, I forget the price, but it was under $30. I think it was 27, 24, around there. When I'm done with the video, I will put the price down below um, before the other link so you can see. But uh, yeah, it's very inexpensive kit and a very decent kit too. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. We are going to test this one out over a fire in a future video, um, probably later in the week. We'll at least try out the big, uh, the big stock pot over a fire. Try to boil some water, see how that works. And we'll try out the pan too. But uh, for now, I'm pretty pleased with this. This, I think, is a decent purchase. And if you're looking to get started in, even if you're just looking to get started in going out camping with your family and practicing. So I'm really liking it. I'm really happy with it. Um, it this is definitely something I would pick up if uh, I was maybe starting with my family going camping or something like that, as well as something for a bug out location or base camp. Um, if you have a location set up already and it's a secure place, sure, I would stick it in there. But they're not expensive. Seems to be a decent, uh, a decent little set. And I'm pretty pleased with it. Anyway, folks, like I said, I will put the price of this down below. I forgot I don't have the receipt with me right at the moment. But I will put the price down below. And don't forget to check out our Amazon link down below. And uh, there's our store with pretty much everything I review in it. Except for this. This is not on there yet. So don't forget to check that out. If there's nothing in the store you like, go ahead and shop as you normally would. It really helps us out. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link. This is going to be the kit that I'm clicking Thrive Life Life stuff in, I guess. Uh, when I'm doing it out here, definitely handy. So uh, don't forget to check that out. A good time to get started stocking up on some freeze-dried foods. Now with all that's going on in the middle of the country, um, definitely a good time to start thinking about it. Prices are going to go up. And we have the spring sale coming. With the spring sale, everything on the site is on sale. So... I will do a video separately on that. That's around the later in the month, around the 25th, 24th, around there. Again, we'll do a video on that before it comes. So you got lots of heads up, lots of time to get what you want. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.